Okay, everyone, I, um, I'm back. I played some, uh, more Jade Druid last night and some, uh, Shaman goodness. And I wanted to go over the decks I made for the new expansion and some of the existing ones that, uh, I've updated, like the Wild Dragon's Priest deck. And we'll go over my list real quick and then we'll start making, uh, videos of actual games. First one I came up with is the Jade Golem ramp. It went more ramp and I've changed a little bit of it. Here's my current build. At first I had uh, Brand Bronzebeard for a lot of this Death Rattle, I mean not Death Rattle, uh, Battle Cry stuff, which was really good, especially you could get some real big swings uh, turns. But the thing is, um, I didn't have, um, he'd, uh, I get value out of him, but not as much. A lot of times you just play him bare. And card draw was kind of an issue too. Well, it's always been like an issue for Drew. But anyways, originally I had no two wild gross. I had mirror keepers instead and Brand's bronze beard. And uh, I wasn't doing that well. Uh, against decks like uh, certain decks that not having wild growth was okay. But when you have mirror matches against druids, getting wild growth on turn one or turn two is huge. And I would fall behind. I was just never able to keep up with their golem uh boards so i had to change a little bit yeah wild growth is too important to have early on against ramp and this deck here to have any kind of chance against aggro you need to build fast you need to draw fast and um to have any kind of chance and you're really not favorite anyways let's go over the list i have now this is after uh some updates and i did pretty decent last night uh 200 rates two uh jade idols uh two living roots two raven idols i was thinking about dropping those for uh some other stuff, but uh, they're just too good. Uh, two Wild Growths, two Rafts, two uh, bla uh, Jade Blossoms. Really good card. I like it. Mulch. Now, Mulch is something I put in there because I like the flexibility of it. But if you're going against a lot of aggro, Feral Rage would probably be better uh, for the armor and removal, of course. Uh, uh, Frandral is just a must-keep. Jade Spirits, good. I like that card, especially... Um, it's kind of flexible, especially if you get late game. It could be real powerful. Two swipes, two Azure Drakes, two Nourish. Black Pyra, she is a, she's an awesome card. Love her. Good stuff. Um, I put the Gadget Zan Auctioneer in for card draw, and he's been working pretty good. Because there's sometimes where you just have nothing, and then you get him some spells in hands, and you could just go crazy. The Jade Behemoth is awesome. One Avatar, oh, sorry, Avatar, Ancient of War, and then come the Forgotten King. I, I love this guy. Matter of fact, I cracked him gold. Didn't need to, but I did because eventually I want to get a whole pure golden druid deck. Okay, and I'll go over more details about everything in the actual videos featuring the deck. But let's go over some more stuff. Here's the Jade Golem Shaman I came up with. I just actually did a change that real quick, but let's see. One Spirit Claws because it's a great, great weapon. Two, you don't want... Probably don't want two, and it's potentially you could drop that actually. But uh, two Tron Trogs, Blood Mage Thanos for card draw and comboing with your spell removals. Uh, two Jade Claws, pretty cool weapon. Uh, two Maelstrom Portals. I just edited that. There was only one before, but I think you just need two, especially with this aggro. Two Golems, Brands Bonds Beer, two Hexes, Lightning Storms, Monotide. I took away one Monotide for the second portal. Um, because I have a, and we'll keep going, I'll tell you the reason why then. we got two Jade Lightning, good for removal, also Burst. Two Jade Spirits, one Water Speaker, which is good. Against Aggro, you probably want to drop, uh, let's see, uh, probably a Jade Spirit, I would assume, to, uh, for extra healing if you really, really need it, but you should be okay. Two Drakes, Lotus Agents, I dropped the... Second Monotide because uh, I had this in the deck and it is potentially a card draw for you and it's really cool. Uh, especially you get Druid Rogue, it could be a real help. White Eyes, I really love this guy. He uh, he could really help stabilize a board against Aggro. He's excellent. Plus that 10 10 5 mana card is just so nice if you get it. She's just awesome. Two things from below because they're just too good. And two Jade Chieftains. If you're not going against a lot of Aggro, I guess you could get rid of the, those and put back uh, a Monotide if you're having a lot of. Um, card draw issues okay now let's go for the dragon pre two priest decks that came up this is a dragon priest uh two shields whelps historians the warm rest brands bond spear the new couple the talon priest i like that uh, minion a lot two deaths one greater healing potion uh that's a flexible card I put it in there for anti-aggro and uh it's been helpful but uh if you're not if you're going to let's 
say a lot against a lot of control. You could probably take that out for a pain or uh, some other card of your choice. Two guardians, two drakes, two corruptors, two um, of the new operative. This guy's awesome. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to craft him gold one day. Two worms, bookworms, fire, dragon fire potions, excellent card. Uh, two in tombs, uh, Rathion, which is potentially could draw you two, three cards. Depends. He is a risk, though. He could mill you, but I haven't had that yet. Then Ragnos, the Fire Lord, for some punch. Um, originally, my build was only one in tomb, and I had Chill Maul in there. I took out in Chill Maul and put in the second in tomb. If you're going against a lot of aggro, go ahead and take that second in tomb out and put in Chill Maul. This is a cool concept I came up with, Control Tempo, but I have no idea if it's going to even work because uh, the meta is really bad right now with the... Uh, these golems and stuff. This has a perfect one, two, three drop situation. Mistress a, mi a mixture is awesome. Pint sized potions, which is really good for trading and some combos with a cobalt shadow priest. Uh, two shields, two mana dudes here, geo dudes. Um, they're good because that for every time I play them, people remove them right away. Two re resurrects for some tempo, and most of these drops because they're for the one drops and two drops uh you they're really good to get back uh talon priest two deaths two priests of the feasts two azure drakes i put this guy in there for testing uh you really probably most likely never play him on curve unless you're against aggro you just uh wait or whatever it goes i put the prince in there for a little bit of kick and power that this deck kind of lacks and then second rate Bruiser here, he's pretty good. Really good against aggro. These two guys are a really good combo. You could steal Emperor Thorson if you have your pint-sized potion. Uh, Dragonfire potion for removal. Emperor Thorson, so you can get some combos going. Only one in Tomb and then Wrath I'm really put him in there because he has a chance to draw your Drakes, your dra Operative. So, and he's guaranteed at least one card draw. So as you can see, this deck doesn't really have a lot of draw. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't anticipate it being very good. But it might be fun. Uh, Wild Raptor, I'm thinking about updating. I'm going to probably move, remove Ysera and put in uh, Kung here because he's just too good. The only thing is if he pulls him, you'll lose a lot of value. But getting a 7-7 seven, seven on board, you know, it's probably more wor than it, worth it than anything. Uh, this one, whoops, let's get rid of that. This is what I've, my Wild, you've seen a, uh, video of it, but let's go over the changes. Choose, uh, this stays the same. The shields, whelps, historians, pain. I might move that, but, uh, this, to, now the, I add the talent priest. Too good of a three drop. Uh, deaths. I removed one villain's chosen because my, hopefully one will be enough. The guardian state drakes. Good. I, I had to add the operatives. They're just a must have. Bookworm. I put the dragon fire potion. Uh, I got. One on Tomb, one Light Bomb, because you can never have enough removal. I removed Chill Maul for him. I think hopefully that'll be a good call. And then you see her. This deck's probably not finished, but at least that's what the updates I've done so far. Uh, this is a 100% uh, deck I came up with for Wild. It's uh, I call it the Wild Freak Show Shaman, because it deals with Devolve. And um, here it is. Sp two Spirit Claws, Tonal Trogs, Thanos... This guy, this spell is awesome so far. Asked all the paladins I've faced with buffing their minions. Really good counter to Tyrion, Sylvanas, stuff like that. Uh, Flame Tongue. Only one portal. Uh, Golem, Hex, Lightning, two mana. You might want to draw. If I have a lot of issues with removal and need a more effect, I'll probably remove one of those and put it in the portal. One Water Seeker. Really good for heals. Uh, this Low Salutinus I like because it could trade. And if it lives, you could go to face and heal up, and you be, usually get always get an upgrade. It's really cool. It's part of the freak show too, the theme that you never know what you're gonna get. A bunch of freaks working together. Two drakes, two sludge belchers, only one thunder bluff. I think hopefully that'll be enough. Wide eyes could help you stabilize and really take tempo. Uh, two things below, so they're too good in Nebulon. He's just my favorite Hearthstone card. He's really good against control. He helps refill your. Um, and since there's no more big game hunter, he uh, he's really good, and um, I like him better than Doctor Boom. But there's that list, and all these decks I will be previewing. Um, 
Beast, I don't think this is a Beast deck. I haven't really played much of it. I don't know if it's going to be viable, but there might be some updates, but I doubt it. The only thing is that one that buffs it. But anyways, oh, and this is not a deck I come up came up with. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this little preview, and I'll start making some uh, new uh, videos featuring all these decks in the near future. Okay, guys, bye.